I just jumped in the water and it's crystal clear. It's warm and yeah, look at this view. It's unbelievable. I feel so far away now, far away from the Netherlands, far away from Scotland where we started two years ago. Oh, oh, don't hold it to me. <laughs> 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 so I put this around his head? <laughs> don't let it go, don't let it go. I'm going in the fridge. <laughs> it's just, it's just a towel. I have no idea what I grab. Oh, I can see him, I can see him. I can see still. Yeah. Oh, I can't do it! I can't do it! No, I can't really can't. I can't even speak. Oh. He's playing dead, I think. He's. I think we can grab him. He looks really asleep. You have him? Oh, oh. back to life. <laughs> get him here, get him here. I don't have him so good. I don't have him so good. Get the knife oh. ready. So we're gonna cook him, and then we're gonna roast him in the oven. I don't know if we've got a big enough oven. This looks a bit good. Yeah, it was uh, wrestling with the sea monster, but uh, yeah, we put it in the oven with garlic and butter and white wine. So our first, or my first lobster ever. Finally eating some fresh food after eating all the tin food. <laughs> On the Atlantic, crossing. yeah. yeah. I can't wait to dig in. Tastes good? Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Yeah. It's really, really good. We're super excited to get out exploring Antigua. But to be able to sail safely, we must first replace the broken rigging bolt after it failed on us mid-Atlantic. We first have to wait for the new part to be made up and we decide to catch up on some computer work and give our engines a much needed love. Three weeks pass and we are still waiting on the rigging bolt. Meanwhile, Cherry Ripe has started to grow its own garden. There's thousands of tiny sea critters clinging to the boat, and some of them bite. Oh, so many squids! Finally, the new rigging bolts are ready. Uh, we've put in the new bolts, and uh, now we've just got to tension it back up. We won't go crazy. I think when we go out sailing, we can tune it better, but already it's quite good actually. On our way to uh, Green Island. We've got the main up, close hauls, engine on to give it a bit of a run out. It's also going to help us get there before dark. We quickly realise we've just dropped anchor in a perfect playground for kite surfing and wing foiling. The winds are coming in directly off the Atlantic and a barrier reef makes for flat water on the inside. We really want to learn how to do this. And after a bit of negotiating with the kitesurf school, we managed to set up a couple of lessons in exchange for our footage. <laughs> What's happening today? We uh, go kite surfing. Oh, yeah. I think this one is better. This one is a tiny bit too small. Okay, then. You got a weird shaped head, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's the Herald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we start off body dragging to get a feel for the kite. Then comes the board. I have to 
after getting some feedback, Mitch is soon up and riding. Tim doesn't score any fashion points, but he does really well for his first go. In between swims, kitesurf sessions, and walks on the beach, we work furiously behind the computer to try to pay the bills. Last month we crossed 2,000 miles of ocean, and although our surroundings have changed, we're realizing that our fundamentals stay the same. For us, that means finding work, doing work, maintaining the boat, a YouTube channel, and of course, keeping each other happy and healthy. Sometimes there's going to be moments where the balance is slightly off. So it is a, another beautiful morning in Antiguan paradise. Uh, one slight issue, <laughs> um, we're pretty low on money. Yeah, we have been focusing on Atlantic crossing so much and all our money went in there to prep the boats, make everything ready. Yeah. And now we are here, <laughs> yeah. but now, uh, yeah, this is definitely a priority. Yeah, well, it's pretty amazing here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we can sustain it, then it's amazing. If we can't, um, well, yeah, I don't yeah. know. We gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah. As hard as we've been working lately, it's not going to be enough to sustain what we're doing, unless we can line up more work. While we figure out our money issue, life still goes on. And it's time for our first food shop at Green Island, which start with a two mile dinghy ride. Where are we? This is weird, we're drifting into the mangroves though. So, yeah. Oh God, what is these, all this stuff in the water? It's really smelly here. I think there's like dead fish. Yeah, Fisherman's I can, dump. I can smell it. We are now on a hike through the forest using Google Maps, thank the Lord. And, uh, why did I just thank the Lord? Uh, thanks, Google. Um, they are the Lord, I guess, now. Um, <laughs> where's this going? <laughs> where's this going? <laughs> okay, let's keep going to the shop. There's a cloud blocking the sun, which is perfect because uh, it's pretty warm. Uh, next update in hey, uh, a oh, car. It's not that promising. Civilization. We found a supermarket, as you can see, but now uh, everything has to get back to the dinghy. Yeah, that looks heavy on your back. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. How's it going, Mitch? Romantic hamburger dinner. Hamburgers? Mm-hmm. My favorite. <laughs> Mitch? <laughs> what yeah. are you doing, Mitch? Face mask, papaya face mask. Oh, my word. 
this has to soak in for 50 minutes and then have a baby skin. I can't work like that little fella. Yeah. Figuring out our finances is still a work in progress, but a couple of jobs do come in, which should see us through another few months. Ready for some kiting, Mitch? Yeah. I'm just floating around in the dinghy, well, tied to this mooring. Uh, Mitch is just doing some amazing progression. So, yeah, really happy for her. She's been, I know she wants it so bad. She's coming past now. So, uh, if I turn around, maybe she's gonna be there. Ooh. Don't know if that focused properly, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Yay, that was such a good kite session. I came back to the beach. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really happy. I can do both sides upwind now, so Tim doesn't have to pick me up in a dinghy anymore. Yeah, it's moments like this that you really, really appreciate this li life. Um, yeah, this life on the boat and... Yeah, and there are a lot of insecurities at the moment. But, yeah, this is why we want to do it. We are water people, sailing, kiting, freediving, surfing and... Yeah, it gives really a drive to work even harder for it to make next season, yeah, make next season work out again and continue life on the boat. From our first weeks in the Caribbean, we're learning that paradise is not necessarily a tropical island, but perhaps more a state of being. Finding paradise might be less about reaching the pot at the end of the rainbow, and more about opening our eyes to the moments of contentment, which can happen anytime and anywhere. Our goal is to keep bringing you videos. With Sailing Beyond Borders, we want to learn from the places we go and the people we meet, and to explore ways of living in a closer harmony with the natural world. If you'd like to help us on this mission, then please consider becoming a Patreon. Click the link here on the end screen, or find more details in the video description below. <laughs>